Hey there and welcome to the show. You're watching WEMY's Fast Break, a recap of all your high school basketball highlights alongside Dan Fates. I'm Jenna Cottrell and tonight we start with a big matchup on Elmira's Southside. Yeah, Horsets and Elmira ended tonight a combined 7-0, and but one team's going to stay perfect and one team just has to go home. A packed house at Elmira, Ryan Johnson, the head coach, and Jeff Lemoncelli, two intense guys and they were pretty loud in this one. They had a reason to be too. Second half to Sean Sutton, putting his head down. He would not be denied up and under. He had 15 in the Express, was up 12 in the third. Horseheads though, they are no strangers to playing comeback kids. Carter McCormick here drops it off and then get to your spot, son. Baseline jumper drops in. Blue Raiders fighting back. They are not done yet. Express was up eight when McCormick Again, this one's just a cold-blooded three. Steph Curry style. He had a team-high 12 and cut the lead to five. That was as close as they would get. Zach Savage on the other end with a defender on his back, able to use the screen and get the bucket. And in an intense rivalry, Almira able to hold serve on their home court. Express improved to 4-0 with a 54-49 win. Well, out of Corning now, the Hawks in the holiday spirit. Check out the beard. You go, Glenn Coco. Corning trailing, <laughs> but Danny Men, yeah, I put the team on my back. He rocks his way to the rim, putting up the triple the old-fashioned way. The shots were falling for Madden, and now it'd be in the post. No one was stopping that young man tonight. He sinks the acrobatic hook shot here. Corning was back in business as Madden was pushing the pace all night. The pass inside here would be good, and jump man John Werner getting rich. The Hawks feasting to end out the first half, but Union Ennicott sneaks away with this one as the Tigers upset Corning 59-50. Yeah, switching gears to the IAC Crusaders hosting the Senecas ND. Looking to get back to 500 on the year. They were trailing in the first, but Gary Ropper is looking to get them back in it. Picks up the loose ball, and he's Ooh. just well, he's faster than Jenna and I, so he gets the layup, and that was two of his game-high 21. Watkins Glenn, though, they would answer. Shot clock winding down, so it's time to panic, right? Nah, Justin Kelly, he's as cool as they come. Knocks down it at the buzzer. Senecas, they were rolling. Notre Dame, they just couldn't find an answer. Parker Pengala with the drive and the vision to find Michael Doan. That was one of his back-to-back -back threes. The sophomores on McDonald's, just loving it. And in the second, it's Kelly again. He's going Forrest Gump style. Coast to coast, the hop step and the finish. Watkins Glenn able to snap a three-game losing streak. They get the win, 60-54. Well, Newark Valley looking to bounce back after their loss to Waverly down at Newfield tonight. The defending champions of Class C protecting home court. Quintel Clements takes his space and makes the cards pay. Cha-ching for the sophomore. Newfield finding their rhythm as they kick out and Patrick King, the prince of himself, doom. Boom, the Trojans just showing off. Greg Morvac. Newark Valley crashing in on the three and one, still takes a lane, still drops it in. The Trojans look mid-season four there. as Newfield takes down Newark Valley, 66-37. They're the real deal. Peyton Miller talking about how much fun it is being undefeated. Wolverines 5-0, and stopping at the Heights tonight. And right off the opening tip, this is what you call a fast start. Spartans gain the possession, then Chris Bucker, he's just going to chuck it up. The three falls, Edison was up quickly, but then... Well, unfortunately, it was all Waverly. Miller carrying the ball up the floor. Check out this cross over here to shake the defender and then dishes it off to John Ward. Textbook pick and roll. Red squad up 7-5, to five, and they would not look back. A little later, it's Ward and Garrett Surick. You take it. No, no, you take it. No, you. Okay, I'll take it. Ward, bang. He had a 17 all in the first half. Waverly up big, and it wouldn't be a Wolverine highlight without some Hunter Bodine. He gets the block on the defensive end that in transition, Pulls up her little baby floater. All Waverly in this one. They stay perfect, topping Edison 71-54. Also going on tonight, Elmira and Horseheads girls basketball taking center stage. Yeah, the top two teams on the stack wouldn't be outdone by the boys. A battle of the unbeaten tonight in Horseheads. End of the third. The Express trying to hang on by five, but they don't know Jess Sheefin. <laughs> Sheefin, she rolls into the paint, laces that one through the defense. Horseheads was on a streak. And they wouldn't stop the laser inside here. Tatum Benish hacked on the way up, but kisses it off the glass. And the senior would head to the line. This game would be tied at 36, heading into the fourth. But the catalyst, Kiara Fisher, the pretty spin move. She shakes off the defense, and Elmira would start to roll. Zaria Thomas, the off-balance shot here, but right on target. The ball rims in. The She's Express still trying to hold on to their lead, though. They Could they take down the three-time sexual champions? Well, Fisher unfazed. This girl, not even in high school, the eighth grader streaking down the court. Check the composure. Those two of her nine points as she finished with eight boards. Then to ice out the Raiders here, Tiara Jenkins on the corner. We'd get it. Splash for the first time ever in program history. Elmira beating Horses. The Express 
remain perfect as they steal away the game 51 42. Congrats to the girls and the Lady Hawks on the road tonight. Corning facing Union Endicott. End of the first year, the Tigers, Kristen Coyle going coast to coast for two. And how about a little extra? But it was Corning who was having a field day away from their home court. Olivia LeBaron, the takeaway, then the put away. Hawks having no trouble in this one. The senior just getting things going for Corning. Later on, on the fast break, Corning would be able to convert, and they do it a lot. The Hawks pick up another win as they cruise 52 29. Let's check out some more girls' hoop scores. Waverly took down Edison at home. Ellie Nittinger had 20 points to lead the Wolverines over the Spartans, and Odessa Montour suffered their second loss of the year. Tioga able to power their way past the Indians, 59-41. And down to PA Boys basketball, Quinn Henry able to score 17 points and propel the Green Hornets as they cruise past Troy, getting the win, 54-36. And on the ice, they did it again. Seven in a row. Elmira Nicholas Lundstrom with 32 saves in net and five different jackals scored. They're unstoppable. As they won in Reading tonight, same team, same places tomorrow night as they will look to make it eight straight wins. So Elmira now in the top of the Eastern Division. They're actually second in the conference. Yeah, so they're red hot. Quite a streak for them. Yeah, absolutely. Bills, they are taking on the Redskins this Sunday as well. WMI's Buffalo Bills Red Zone online on our Facebook and on our website. Ryan will have a last look at your forecast right after the break. You're watching WNY News at 11.